A lot of people go to the gym and are unsure about what to do when they get there. What lifts should I perform? How should I do them? What do I do when I go to the gym? Now, if we're thinking about the most common reason of going to the gym, which is to get strong, to build muscle, to get lean, to get healthy, we predominantly want to be doing some good weightlifting, right? So what type of weights are we going to lift? How are we going to do them? What machine should I go on? What should we do? So what I thought I'd do for you today is just put together this little kind of comparison and analogy and use a restaurant to get you to understand what I mean. Now, it's not too clear on the board here, but I'll try and point this out to you. Now, when you, when you go to a restaurant then, what you do when you look at the menu is you tend to say, I'll have the steak, I'll have the lamb, I'll have the chicken, the fish, the pork, or the vegetarian option, right? What you don't tend to do is say, I'll have the uh, I'll have the cauliflower florets. I'll have the I'll have the carrots, right? You choose the main part of your meal based around that meat, okay? That's kind of the centerpiece of your meat, a uh, centerpiece of your meal. So we can put that in the same way that we might do gym-based exercises. So let's look on the menu. What is the most expensive thing? What is the like the biggest, the best thing on the menu? The one that the one that makes you look at the price list and go, "Ooh, that's a bit risky. I'm not sure whether I should have that one." Right? And it would be the steak, wouldn't it? It's the steak that costs the money. So we've put here in the gym restaurant menu, we've got steak. I mean, I'll try and I'll try and bring this in so so you can kind of see. So we've got steak as the menu number one. Now, what might be an exercise that you base your session around on the steak? Well, it could be the deadlift. Now, we can call the deadlift the fillet steak. That's the posh one, that's the expensive one, okay? Then, we could have maybe exercises like the clean and jerk, which could be a ribeye steak. And then for a sirloin steak, we might have the snatch. I know it's not too clear on this board. So that, would be you know a prime exercise to work on that's a big exercise for you to look at you do that first and it fills up the bulk of your session and then the chips and the vegetables are the stuff that go around it maybe some arm curls maybe some presses maybe some now you know there are other big arms exercises that come into this this is this isn't everything on the menu but that's your centerpiece your steak now if you're not having a steak you might have the lamb what might the lamb be? Well, that could be a squat. That could be a barbell squat. That's the main part of your workout. The main part of your meal, the main part of your workout. You could have the chicken. The chicken might be a Bulgarian split squat or some form of one-legged squat, okay? Another big, hefty, flavoursome, juicy exercise to be the centerpiece of your workout. The fish, you might have the sea bass. And that could be the lunge, all right? So you could do some lunging exercises, which again is another big, huge exercise. You see, you see here too, you know, these are legs, legs flavored exercises, big meaty legs flavored exercises. Yes, we can do pull-ups and dips and presses and uh, bench presses that are also big meals, but here's just an example where we're doing it kind of around the legs. We could go for the gammon, all right? What might the gammon be? Carry, carry something friggin' heavy, like a big, huge sandbag, or some heavy kettlebells, or carry a barbell, something. That's another big, large exercise, like all these do, using a lot of large muscle groups. Or, what you also get as well, is the vegetarian option, okay? Now, the vegetarian option might be walking on a treadmill holding on <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, have you not seen game changers hey have you not read this study now as a little bit there's a little bit mean um but the vegetarian option you know it's not always the one you go for is it and it does seem a little bit surprising when it costs maybe 
17 quid for a broccoli based meal all right so that is the vegetarian option is not really the best one to do in your workout okay so that could be an example of the way this goes to look on the restaurant choose your meat choose your main exercise and then you put your garnish around that so it's a case then of um, trying to learn what these main exercises are. Deadlift, squat, Bulgarian split squat, lunge, carry. And if you're going into the arms, barbell press, bench press, dips, pull-ups, bent over row, you know, that would be an arms example of menu. But what you're wanting to do when you go into the gym, you want to have one big, sexy, big, meaty exercise that is your focus point of your workout, and the others can be garnishes around it. I hope you found that useful. Take care.